Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Quick History. Today we're going to be taking a look at three social researchers, Charles Booth, Seaborn Roundtree and Maud Pemba Reeves. As always there's a free handout in the description below and make sure you click on subscribe if you'd like to see more GCSE history based revision content. Let's get into the details. Despite the development of Louis Pasteur's germ theory, vaccinations and the implementation of the 1848 and 1875 public health acts, there was still a great deal of concern over the condition and health of the working class population as Britain entered the 20th century. In 1899 the British government declared war against the Boers in South Africa and men from the working classes rushed to join the colours and volunteered to fight. The British Army, however, was shocked to find that many of these recruits from the working class were either too unfit or too unhealthy to fight. This should not have come as such a surprise because 10 years earlier in 1889, Charles Booth commissioned a report called The Life and Labour of the People. The report established the notion of a poverty line of between 10 and 20 shillings a week. Those that didn't earn that amount of money were deemed to be living in poverty and were unable to support a family. Booth found that 35% of London's population lived below this poverty line. This came as a great shock to many, including Booth himself, who originally commissioned the report to disprove people who believed that the London poverty level was as high as 25%. Similar sentiments were echoed in York. Seaborn Roundtree conducted a similar investigation interviewing 46,000 people. He published his report, Poverty, a Study in Town Life in 1901, which found that half the population of York were living in poverty. As well as developing Booth's concept of a poverty line, Roundtree established the ideas of primary and secondary poverty. According to Roundtree, primary poverty was those who simply didn't earn enough money to live above the poverty line. Secondary poverty were people who did earn enough to live above the poverty line but spent their money on other things, namely alcohol. People in primary poverty were there through no fault of their own whereas people in secondary poverty were there due to their life decisions. Maud Pember Reeves added to this research in 1913 with her book Round About a Pound a Week. She found that many people in regular employment, such as policemen for example, struggled to exist on the average of one pound a week. She found that it was often women who suffered as they went without food to allow the children and the male wage earner to eat. She originally set out to prove that this was because families were wasting money on drink but found that this was not the case. They simply couldn't afford to eat despite being in regular employment. Join me in the next video where we're going to be taking a look at Lloyd George and his liberal reforms to try and solve some of these issues raised by Booth, Roundtree and Pember Reeves. I'll see you there.